Since Hot Toys doesn't want to produce you, I'll just create you myself. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm excited to share with you how I created a custom figure of Queen Amidala. I have been waiting for Hot Toys to produce Queen Amidala in 1 6 scale for quite some time now. She is one of the Star Wars characters that they could actually milk. I'm giving Hot Toys an idea here guys. She has this royal throne room gown that you are seeing now. She has the senate gown, the traveling gown, the Padme version, the royal handmaiden dress version, the battle dress version. That's a lot of costume that they could actually produce in a single character. She'll be the Iron Man of Star Wars if they are going to produce all her costumes. And that's Kachin! Now, in order to achieve this look, you will need three items. So get your pen and paper ready, guys. First, you will need the Natalie Portman head by head play. Second, you need to source for the Queen Amidala doll by Hasbro. And third, you need to source for a female figure, 1 6 scale, and make sure it's the slim type and later I'll tell you why. The first thing that you could do once you gather all the three items that you need is to paint the head similar to Queen Amidala's makeup in the movie. Unfortunately guys, I cannot show you the exact step-by-step -step painting process because as you know, she's already finished. The one that I used is the Natalie Portman head by head play. Mainly because her hair is sculpted like this. I'm going to show you. It's tied, so it's easier for this headpiece which actually came from the Hasbro doll to be attached here. You could use a strong glue for this one. If you're a skilled painter, you could paint the face by yourself. But if you're not as skilled like me, and you don't want the makeup to look like this, <laughs> you better hire a painter to do that for you. For Queen Amidala's body, you will only need the headpiece I mentioned earlier, and the gown itself from the Hasbro doll that you could actually source online. The assembly is easy. All you have to do is put the dress on the slim body that you bought. You need a slim body for one reason, to fit the dress because the original Hasbro doll body that they use is so small and the gown is not that stretchable. You may need to alter the dress a bit also because this is what I did in order for the body to fit in the dress. Don't be shocked guys. Turn around and voila! <laughs> I'm sorry. You see? I haven't altered this, don't worry. I'll try to alter it soon. I just have no time yet. This dress is actually open until here. So it's not a problem. But the problem starts from this area. Because the waist is so small, the slim figure that I bought really struggling to fit in. So I have to cut a portion here in order for the whole thing to go inside. So yeah, I see. Very nice. <laughs> she fainted earlier because she was so embarrassed with what I showed you guys. This dress has a velcro at the back. You could actually open it from here, you see? So you insert the body through this opening here at the back. This one you have to, like what I said, oops, sorry about that sensor. This one you have to um, alter in order for the whole body to fit in. You also need to paint her fingernails white if you want it to be accurate like in the movie. Once everything is done, do the final step. 
and now form the head. Voila! There you go, guys. Queen Amidala of Planet Naboo. Isn't she beautiful? It's worth it, guys. It's worth it. You should try customizing her using the three items that I told you. Okay, let's compare her with the rest of the 1-6 scale figure that I have. First up is the First Lady of Fighting. She's none other than Chun Li from Street Fighter. Both are not tall women, so I think the proportion is really good. Um, Chun Li is from Medicom Raw, by the way. I'm going to have a review of her soon, so please watch out for it. Now, moving on to the next character. He is none other than the God of Thunder, Thor. Wow, they look good together. Jane. Jane, it's me. I'm back. Do you remember me, Jane? Anakin? Uh, what? Who's Anakin? Never mind. Jane! Jane! That's all for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Queen Amidala figure that I showed you. And I hope and pray that Hot Toys will produce her one day. Please, Hot Toys, it's time for Queen Amidala to shine. But before I go, I want to share with you one more thing. This one is a cape from Thor The Dark World. Thor is not wearing this because she's the one who's wearing this cape. I'll show you. Remove the head again. Place her cape like that. Then put the head back. You see? It added some more X factor to the figure. She looks so elegant and queenly with this robe. If you enjoyed this video guys, hit the like button, comment down below to share your thoughts, and kindly support my channel by subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe guys, it will greatly help my channel to grow, okay? Thank you all in advance, take care everyone, and happy collecting! Bye!
Thank you.